I'm Chip Douglas. Welcome home, Scott. And I'm Ernie Douglas. James Bond, Secret Agent 007. And we're here to tell Ernie. you... Ernie! Just a minute, Uncle Charlie. Come on, Ernie, you're going to be late for school. We're doing a promo for Me TV and Jump. Ernie, Chip. Yes, Dad. Come here a minute, will you? We'll be down in a minute. As I was saying... <laughs> Tramp, be quiet. <laughs> Tramp? <laughs> hey, have you guys seen Robbie? Oh, hi, I'm Katie Douglas. We're my three sons. Ernie, I had to learn about women like Melissa through long, tough experience. Let me make my own mistakes. They're half the fun. And my daughter-in-law. Thanks. Now I really feel like one of the family. Watch me on me. Me TV. You think girls are just boys' gift wrap? <laughs> Weekday mornings at 7, 6 central on me TV. It's real neat. Hi, I'm John Mallows, and welcome to Connect With Me, live on the showroom floor here at Ventura TV on this Monday. It's on the air, off the presses. We've got Mark Cotta in our studio today talking about the media and sales and all kinds of other things. Your phone calls are important, 265-4331. We're back with our show on this Monday after Easter in just a moment. It's on the air, off the presses today. Hope you had a great weekend and a fantastic Easter. And what a weekend it was, weather-wise. Hey, didn't the weather people say it was there were going to be thunderstorms? It was going to be raining yesterday. What happened to that? <laughs> anyway, we'll ask our guest today. Well, he's not a weatherman, so I guess we can't ask him. Kopi's not here, so I can't. You know, Angelo's not here. We can't ask any of these people, but we can certainly comment about the missed forecast yesterday. Yeah, I'm just joking. But a uh, great weekend with all the NC2A basketball. Can you believe the Louisville-Duke game yesterday? Amazing. And what a heart-wrenching uh, situation with that uh, one player from Louisville who broke his leg yesterday. Boy, what a absolutely gory scene did not want to see that we're not going to show it but today it's on the air off the presses we are pleased to have in a member of the media from kmph he actually works in the sales department he's been there for about 13 years now that is a long time he's been through all the changes the bankruptcy the you know the buying of uh, you know the new owners coming in buying up the station anyway he was at channel 47 for 20 years you know him as the sports director there, or at least you did, for the better part of 13 years. His name is Mark Cotta. He was the sports director there for many years. He went to the assignment desk and was in charge of the entire newsroom, and then he was in charge of the entire news department. He became news director before he left and went over to KMPH, where he currently resides. He is Mark Cotta. He's live in our studio now. He's got many years of broadcasting under his belt. We're going to talk to him today about Kopi, about Great Day, about KMPH, about sales. You know, 2007, 2008, not very good because the economy took a tank. So what are sales like now? Is it hard to go out and sell even if you have the greatest of products like KMPH has? Is it difficult to walk in the door and say, look, do you want to buy some airtime? You know, it's, it's not free, but it's a great product, and you'll get your product marketed in the right way. Your phone calls, important, 265-4331. Mark Cotta, a very familiar face from years ago. He's not that old. <laughs> from years ago here in the uh, Fresno television market. We're back with your phone calls and Mark Cotta in just a moment. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. 
And we're back on the air, off the presses. Glad to welcome in today, Mark Cotta. Hey. Hey, John. You know, you're better known as Stephanie Berugian's husband. You know that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, anymore. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It could be worse. <laughs> so is there an identity thing there? It's just, well, I'm, I'm Stephanie's husband. Oh, yeah. I have to check my license every once yeah. in a while just to make sure that my name is still Cotta. How yeah. is your wife doing? She was a guest here. She was a wonderful guest when she came on. She's great. Yeah, she's, she's she's fantastic. You know, yeah. she's been through a lot of ups and downs. Well, right? yeah, you know, mostly ups, but uh, yeah. you know, stations, their stations are selling, and oh, things it's, things are you know, it's always a it's a bumpy, interesting time. It's a bumpy ride right yeah. now. It's right, a, it's crazy business. So, what do you think? As long as you're on the subject, what do you think of this next star thing? You know, they bought forty seven last year. And of course, they bought up 24. Right. Uh, they're going to combine the two newscasts, at least from what I'm reading in the paper and what I'm hearing right. people I talk to. Is that a good thing, Mark? You've been around a long, you've been in the media a long time. What's your take on it? Well, I mean, I have to be careful about what I say. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. No problem. Um, I don't want to get because I really don't know. But well, uh, neither of us do. But, but the, I mean, the plan, the plan that Nexstar seems to have, makes financial sense. Yeah. Because the industry is very expensive. You know, in, in what way? Well, TV used to be, you know, it, it, watch what's happening with everything. Okay, yeah. it it started was, you know, I'm going to just make it short. The newspaper used to be the only way people got their information, and here's where the newspaper is today. You can decide where that is. Television, I don't know that it's going to fall into the same category as the newspaper f with its fate, but there's a lot of challenges out there for TV station. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you know, I know you had our general manager on here. No, actually, Jack, Jack Peck, Peck had yeah. yeah he had a scheduling uh, problem or difficulty, and so the news director Jim Turpin came yeah, on. Just we, yeah, yeah, just as good. Yeah, just as good because they're going to give you honest answers. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you said something about is is it hard to go in? No, it's never hard to go in and tell somebody. Uh, Here's what I do, and it'd be I think it'd be beneficial if you could do it. Mm -hmm. The hard part is for them to have the financial wherewithal to actually make that happen. But is it good for television news or for the media, for Nexstar to come in and buy up two stations, and maybe there's even a rumor on the street, well, not a rumor on the street, people I've talked to are looking and possibly even buy KMPH. Is that a good thing for our industry? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a monopoly. I don't know if they're going to buy KMPH. Uh, yeah. I don't know that that's possible. But having, I mean, a possible. Yeah. having a monopoly, I guess what I'm getting at, is that a good thing? I don't know that you can avoid it anymore. Because I mean, the end, it's, it's not like the golden era where, you know, the TV stations just basically, they had a lot. I mean, I, I've worked in this industry through John Wallace and I call it the platinum years. It wasn't even the golden years. They were fantastic, 80s to almost to about 2000. You could do no wrong. And the, the money the money was, was rolling in. Was there? Yeah, the advertising was there. But Not when so you much. say you can't avoid it anymore, what do you mean by that? I just think it, the TV station. I mean, there was a time in my life where I wanted to own a TV station. Yeah. And and I say now you couldn't give one to me, because it's just so expensive. The electricity, the staffing, the equipment, and really the thing that's really very difficult right now is the HD, the HD conversion. Yeah, the conversion. Super expensive. So yeah. you'd have to you'd have to have deep pockets to. To have the TV station the old way, yeah, Which and and what about FCC regulations? Are they the same now, or are they changed over the course of time? Well, uh, is it easier to deal with the FCC now than it was years ago during the platinum years? Uh, yeah, um, you know, or more difficult? No, I don't know. Um, you know, first being in the sales part of it, um, I'm I'm tuned in, but I'm not. You know, yeah. I'm not going to you know focus completely on it. Right. Uh, I'm just giving an opinion. It seems like the FCC is a little easier to deal with. A little with, more lenient? It seems to be. Yeah. Just yeah. Be, because of the decisions that are getting made. The public decisions pretty much tell you. I know you said that, that you can't avoid it now. I mean, these monopolies are happening all over the country in various cities. But is it good for the industry? Is it good for television news, for example? Oh, probably there's, there's not. It's probably not good, but it's a reality. I mean, right. the best thing is to have completely independent newscasts that are, you know, a reflection, are reflection right? of our society. Yeah. And, you know, but it's just not practical. 
Yeah. You know, that that doesn't and seem And, of course, to be we're right hearing, and you're hearing all kinds of, you probably have a lot of information that you can't talk about here because Stephanie obviously works at 24, but <laughs> we don't ask you to divulge any of secrets. Right, right. But, I mean, you know, if they're going to combine these two newsrooms, that mm -hmm. means that a lot of people may, in fact, be laid off. You're talking engineers, perhaps a newsroom type people, maybe reporters, writers. Now, you, all those people are on the street. That's not a good thing. No, because it's course. it's creating more unemployment. No, and where are those not. jobs going to come from? Many, many of those people might have to leave the area yeah. if they want to get a job. Anyway, we've got a phone call here. Uh -oh. Good morning. You're on Connect with me with Mark Cotta. How are you? Hi, Mark. This is Edward. Hey, Edward. My name. You know, I I watched you when when you were with Channel Forty Seven <laughs> Sports. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that was a while ago. Thanks for remembering. Just okay, a couple of years ago. Mark, who who who's the Who's the announce? Who's who's the boys of those KMPA Fox Twenty Six commercials? Who's the boys of that? Uh, the voice of? Yeah. You know what? We have a number of different voices that we use for those. Uh, one person in particular that I work with every day is Andy Lopez. He, Who's that guy that has been doing that since nineteen ninety four? I don't know about that. I don't know who that voice would be. Maybe he does the news opens. I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I don't, yeah, I don't we, know you know, we kind of get them from all over the place anymore. It what? used it used to be a local thing, and now you can go, you know, on the internet and uh, contract a voice. And oh, so I'm not sure. Hire anybody you want now, right? On the yeah, internet. That's basically yeah. another department that they yeah. don't want my opinion. Okay, Mark. <laughs> yes. What do you uh, what do you think about KAIL Channel 7.1? Do you think Nextstar is thinking about buying it from Transamerica? Um, you know what? I, I'm not going to try to predict anything that Nextstar is going to do. They have nothing. <laughs> and at this point, they're not with me. And uh, they're aggressive and, you know, more power to them. Hopefully they'll make the right decisions. If they want to get a Channel 7.1 in this market, then they're going to probably go after it. But that doesn't mean they will. Okay, let me say this. Okay, one final question, and okay. we got to go to break. Quick, go ahead. Okay. Quick. I, <laughs> I haven't heard anything about the approval of KC Channel 24 from Granite to Nexstar. I haven't seen, heard approval by, approval by the FCC. Well, I don't know about that, and I'm not going to speak to it, but if you look at their newscasts at the end of the news, uh, they put up a graphic that says they're a next star station. Yeah, yeah. but without having an a and 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 it's a F a F C C approval, right? It's in the yeah. process. I'm pretty it's sure in, it's in the it's okay. in the process. They, can, they couldn't do it without that. Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for calling. Hey, good questions. Connect with me. Your phone calls are important. Two six five four three three one. You remember this guy when he was on the air at Channel 47? It was only yesterday, it seems like. Yes. Mark Cotta is our guest here, former Channel 47 uh, sportscaster, assignment editor, and longtime news director. He's got a great background in television broadcasting. We're back with your phone calls in just a moment. I love playing cowboy. Come on, let's go. I'm an old cowhand. <laughs> If you're looking for a fight, you're going to fight. Say, you reckon this thing is loaded? It's always great to talk to somebody from the media, a guy I've yeah. known for a long, long time. And we have another phone call from Mark Cotta here. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How You're are you? Me here. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Yeah, go uh, ahead. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Good. Uh, the, the reason why I was calling was uh, for something that really needs some media exposure. Okay, go ahead. Well, what is it? it quick, quick. It, it, very quickly, it's um, uh, animal rescue groups. All and right. I have a phone number. Um, I don't want to give it on the air. Well, go ahead and give it. That's what's the difference. Go ahead. Well, well with the name, it, because it's the, the, uh, a personal number. I, I can get their their um, their group number is five five nine seven one five two eight two five, and it's uh, 
the group's name is Central Valley Animal Lovers, but there's multiple groups that need to be worked with. You know, um, we, we euthanize five million dogs a year in the United States. Okay. Stop. I, well, I appreciate uh, it. I, I appreciate your time, and that's a, that's a good suggestion. We may get those people um, on the air here and connect with me, and maybe you can pass along the idea to KMPH News Department. I know you have nothing to do with the News Department anymore, but you, right. you work in sales. Yep. But that's a possible through good channels. story. Yeah, you work it through channels. Anyway, sure. mm -hmm. good idea. Thank you for the call. Yep. Hey, listen, Mark, you work in the sales department now. What is the difference? <laughs> okay, you crossed over. Yeah. Okay, enemy territory, my friend. You went to the friend. dark side, right? You went to the dark side, my friend. Okay, when you, you know, I, people <coughs> who don't work in the industry should know that, I don't know if it's like this now, but news departments are a totally separate entity, and usually the sales department does not cross over into, you know, did not cross over into that area. Correct. Now they're kind of intermixed. Mm. Well, maybe not. I don't know. You explain it. How is it now? Uh, that has not changed. Okay. Um, it, if you're going to so sales, they don't dictate to the news department, right? On uh, what that would be a problem, or how to how to run their department. That would be a big mess. Yeah. And that would be something that the FCC would probably pay attention to. Yeah. So you have to, you know, we have to respect the boundaries. So what do you do as a sales? Are you a sales director? Sales no, person? I'm a sales uh, sales rep representative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is your What is your job? consist of day in and day out my job mm -hmm. my job is to help my clients uh, grow their business um, in a in a effective way using television and the internet right so um, however we can go about that if it's the creation of an advertising campaign so do you have a client list yeah Okay, sure. and how long is that list? 70, 80 people or uh, businesses? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, at one time it was quite long. Now it's not quite as long. Right, but your your main focus is to try to help those businesses grow, yeah. but at the same time make money for KMPH because that's how they stay on yeah, the it's air. It's twofold. If you're in business, you need to be making money or you shouldn't be in business. Right. I mean, that okay. money goes, you know, toward paying salaries. Everything. And, and the power bill, yeah, the, the insurance. The power bill, the insurance. You name it. Uh, making money for the company. News right? department, but at, yeah, right. absolutely. But at the same time, your relationship with the clients is what? It has to be on, on a on a very, very professional yeah trusting level correct right? i mean and it's not something you can just you know have happen overnight you need to you need to work you need to nurture that relationship work with them right to find what their needs are you, right if you don't know what their needs are you can't help them do you have to be friends with them uh i don't necessarily you know philosoph philosophically believe that you have to be friends yeah. no but you do have to be respectful right. of each other right and you know to have a trust trust that you like what they're doing, and they like what you're doing. And you have to understand what their business consists of and what their Very future important. goals are. Absolutely. If you do, if you don't, if you don't ask those questions, you're not trying to find that stuff out. You're really not doing them a service. All right. Another call here from Mark uh, go. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. Good morning, How are you? Uh, John. Good. Good. Mark. Couple questions. Sure. Um, I kind of miss you on television. Is there any reason why you're not on right now? Um, He's making yeah. more money as a salesman, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I'll, do it, I'll do it every time. And then, okay, uh, that's a good answer. And listen, I'm kidding. I, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to see you and Stephanie having your own television program. Hey, well, maybe someday. <laughs> you know? It could be. It was not to be the. La I won't call it the last resort. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> don't you know what the rumor is? I mean, Mark and Stephanie are trying to move in on me right here. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know, well, I mean, I don't know. Behind yeah. my back. Why are you still here? I don't know. You should. You should be gone now. I know. I should be retired. Yeah. Right at my age. Yeah. Uh, that'd be. That's very nice of you to say that. Very considerate. We do miss you, Mark. We like it. You're a good. You're a good newscaster. Thank I, you. I, I, you get to the point and everything. You know, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, I look back on some of that stuff and go, <laughs> what? I mean, my kids just, what in the heck is that? Do you have any tapes, old tapes oh, yeah. of you at 40? Why didn't you bring them? Uh, well, you know what? You know, I was just almost not here in time. So if well, I had to bring the tapes, then that would have made me a little late. Next time you come, you've got to bring some tapes. <laughs> you've got to bring some tapes. Uh, oh, it's, it's interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. But we all look back. I mean, I look back at my old tapes when I was first starting. I was on the air at, what, 19 years old? Yeah. And I just was, oh, my goodness, long hair down to here. You still look like you're 19 years old, though. No, I don't. Yeah, look at this. Doing gray. Well. Doing gray. Well. I had a mustache when I was 19. I was trying to look older. Now I'm trying to look younger. Bay area. But anyway, let's roll the videotape, and we're going to go to the Great Day set with Toby oh, yeah. and okay. Kim and all the gang. How easy or difficult? Are we rolling no, it? No, we're going to roll oh, it right here. Oh, right here, Mark. Okay, right okay. Here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How difficult or easy is it to sell this product with that man on the set? <laughs> <laughs> you know, is it a difficult task when you walk into a client and say, look? <laughs> problem with me is I'm honest, but it's absolutely a joy to have all three of them. Yeah. And, and, and Clayton do what they do. And the whole crew... Right. I mean, this is a culture. But 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 my specific but it's, question is, if you're trying to uh, lure in a new client and you meet them for the first time, how do you sell? Uh, pretend I'm a client. Yeah. How do you sell this to me? Um, I, I would sell this by saying that there's not a harder working television personality, and you know that that goes for Kim too and Liz, but with Kopi, he sets right. he sets the bar for everyone in town. Right. I mean, we'll you, see, you, you see him here. you see him everywhere. Okay. Right. But uh, how is that going to help my business? How? What, what do you tell them? How? Well, people not, watch the show. Right. Okay. And I can't show talk. me the demographics. Isn't uh, yeah. that what they're going to yeah, say? Yeah. I mean, there's a system that we have that will show, show you. Show me the ratings. Yeah. Well, we'll show you what we've got. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And um, you know, the shows. Look at. I started a morning show at Channel 47. It what was, year was that? Um, when was I was it? news director, 95. Was that was that with John Wallace or who was that? No, yeah, it was, yeah, it was uh, John Wallace. John yeah, Wallace. Yeah, was no, doing we put John in there. We, yeah. You put John in there. Yeah, yeah. and it, you know what? It was for me. It was a very entertaining program, but it couldn't right. catch a cold for a while. Right. You know this show, and so I was saying, eh, in this town, starting well, this show's newscast, been on for years now. Yeah, but it still has been. They did a nice job in the beginning, and it's just grown. Yeah. Is so, it is it easy to sell Great Day? It's great to sell Great Day because but it's is five it hours. And there's nothing. E this business, nothing is easy. Okay. Okay. But it, it's it's beneficial that we have five local hours to sell. That's good, and we have popular personalities right. doing the program in an informative. Right. And we're going to talk about Kopi's car and some other things when we come back. Commercial okay. break here. Two six five four three three one. How could you forget a face like this? Yeah, oh Mark God. Cotta, Channel 47 <laughs> years ago, now with KMPH and the sales department helping that group out. We're back with your phone calls in a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new, fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Amana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99. And this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. And we're back with Mark Cotta and Mark Kopi, of course. Um, I think he's probably the, well, I don't know if he's the most well-known, but one of the most well-known yeah. personalities in the Central Valley, along Correct. with Angelo over at Channel 30, Correct. probably Nancy Another Osborne, nice John nice Wallace, person. everybody knows who yeah, he is. Sure. Um, and our best out to John Wallace, too. We understand he's kind of under the weather and feeling so, yeah, we hope he does well. very sick. Yeah. And we wish him a speedy recovery or whatever you want to say. He's but a Kobe's great, great person. Let's go to Kopi's car. We're going to Kopi's right. car. You have a story about Kopi's car, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not sure how interesting it is, but Kopi actually cornered me one day, and uh, this was his brainchild. Uh huh. And he and I go, yeah, you know, because I kind of... What like, did he say when he cornered you? He, goes, he know, had this idea. Can we do a... Yeah, I'd like to have a car that, you know, shows you know, station stuff on it and can be sponsored by a car dealership and I go you know that's a pretty good idea so I went out and one of my fine clients agreed to to do it Honda North right in initially correct yeah. who, who does it now Claus and Honda Claus and Honda and they've done it for the lion's share of the time right so you know it, it was his brainchild and so how and easy. he drives around in the car I know I mean he's a moving target <laughs> you know, for God's I sake. Mean, <laughs> I go Kopi how many times and he now, goes now, it, could you see yourself driving in that car oh man the, the, uh, the with the, your face the on love, it? the love that people gave me when I was doing sports yeah that would be foolish <laughs> okay, I mean there were some very very nice people. I could not there. drive around some that in were a not car so nice. with my face on it. But I'm he sorry. says he says most people don't give him the bad reaction. 
Yeah. You know, like using their hand with. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get it. All right. He doesn't get that. So that's good. I'm happy for him. So how easy was that to sell the, to, to Honda North and when you first initially went in? Did they think no, you were nuts? No, 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 no. They didn't think we were nuts, but it was like, what? And then, yeah, they got it. And then Claussen got it after that. So I think it's actually a great idea. And, uh, you know, if, if you're I'll bet, in I'll bet some other people it, in it. town probably wish they had thought of that, right? Yeah, maybe some. You know, yeah. there's a million ways to get the message out there. But everybody's getting a hope he's got that personality. Sure. That, and he'll sign that, autographs. Yeah, he'll sign you know, autographs. Take he's pictures. got the personality to drive a car like that. I don't. Yeah. You know, that's you, you probably don't. No. You know, no. Steph, I, I mean, like the car just, make, but, you know, yeah. the paint job. Yeah. Which is actually a wrap. I like the car. <laughs> Kopi? Uh, no, 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 I'm kidding. Hey, you got the Greek brothers. You can, that's between you guys. Take it up at Easter, okay? Hey, how about... <laughs> that's right. Our Easter's in a few... A couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Anyway. I know more about it than you. Right, yeah, you do. Doggone it. Anyway, let's go to the videotape again, and you can talk about the KMPH 10 o'clock news. Oh. Hey, I was there at one time. Yes, you were. I know all about it. Well, you were part of the success story. <laughs> yeah, so so what do we got here? Hey, uh, that's... that's uh, yeah, we got crooks in action here. Yep. Um, that was a story that was on KMPH. I remember that they, you know, some thieves stole some money. Yeah. But can we can we show Monty and Ashley? Yeah. I, I don't know that that's the right video. There they are, right there. But anyway, you know, here's the thing. Yes. The KMPH 10 o'clock news has been on for so long. Correct. What, 30, 40 years? Well, how, however long the station's been. Now. Yeah, however long the station's been on. 32 or whatever. So what, what's easier to sell, Great Day or the 10 o'clock news? They're, they're two different... Again, animals okay again i know you want it to be easy but it's not okay, okay. nothing is easy but uh, it's appealing okay the great day is a different it's a different group a different mindset it's a different animal it's a different animal and the 10 o'clock news is just a you straightforward know, newscast and it's just yeah. it's just a it's a dynamite product it yeah. is you know if you can be there you want to be there. Monty does a great job. What yes, do you think of Ashley? Love her. She's a local she, local person, Visalia. I'm all for the local people. I'm from Porterville. We, you know, right. more more local people. Sorry, I know you're from Sacramento. No, no, but you're local okay. now. Yeah. So I, I'm really happy for her, and I'm happy for Visalia. Hey, I would be South amiss Valley. without asking you this because I heard all these stories when I came into town. When you were anchoring at one time, you had some incident happen yeah. where some guy busted into the studio or something. Explain what happened because I don't know what the whole story was. Well, the station was going through a remodel. Okay. And a guy walked in looking like a construction employee or worker, and he pulled out a realistic looking toy gun and held me a at gunpoint on the air. Held you hostage on the air? Yeah. My God. Well, if it'd been, if I had... It was a toy gun, though. It wasn't... Yeah, of course, if you emphasize the toy, then I look foolish. But it yeah. really, it didn't look like a toy. Yeah. What was his, uh, what was his beef? What, what, what did he want? Uh, he had a crazy religious message that he wanted me to read. Yeah. And how long w was, was this going on on the air? Uh, it went on the air for about... A couple of minutes? Yeah. And then I had some very bright people in the control room. Yeah. That made it look like we were still on the air, but we were yeah. actually off. Yeah. And, you know, we can talk about these kinds of things, but, but really not a laughing matter. Because, uh, it wouldn't, it, because yeah. in this day and age, everybody is so uptight with all these school shootings. And, no, no. And, there's and nothing funny about it. There's nothing me. funny about it at all. Because at the time, you didn't know it was a toy gun. Well, actually, you know? that's when I found out how really, truly nice people are around here. Yeah. Because the outpouring of support was unbelievable. Yeah. Really unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. You know. So, so. And the great people live here. They right. Really do. Absolutely. The future uh, for you? Going to stay with KMPH for a while? I hope so. If they want me. Yeah. Oh, you do a great job, not, though. If they're not mad that I'm on the show right now, I'm not <laughs> no. selling. Listen, Jack Peck would be pleased that you're on here promoting the, the show. I love the, the station. Shows, I'm really glad station. I'm there. I'm very glad. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Mark, you come back. You know what? you got to bring some tapes next time. All right. From bring, Channel 47. Bring some you promise? Stuff. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Now, are they on three-quarter inch or what are they? Whatever you need. Whatever you I, need. I can put it on okay. a computer. DVD. DVD. I'll be, DVD right. it is. Mark Cotta. Thanks, John. Gosh, I appreciate it. Yep. All right. Thank you. You know, when this guy was news director at 47, he tried to hire me when I first came into couple town. Times. Did I tell you that? A couple, couple of times. A couple of times, yeah. 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 It didn't work, did it? Good guy. <laughs> One of the good guys in broadcasting. Want to have him back. Mark Cotta. And we appreciate you being here. Tomorrow, the focus on business, the King's Diner. We'll have both owners here. At least I think we will. I don't know. We'll see. At least one of them will be here. I can promise you that. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Connect With Me on Me TV Fresno.
Are you like me? Just like me. Like Me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Look at that. Isn't that a great layout? You son of a gun. This campaign is no good. No good. Darren and Larry, the original Mad Men on Bewitched.